Hello friends, welcome to Auto Development Tutorial video. In last videos we were discussing about uh, the default functionality, computer fields, on change and the model constraints, this kind of uh, things. Now what we are going to discuss uh, in upcoming videos uh, about Odoo views. Okay, so Odoo have some advanced uh, representation mechanism. Uh, so uh, the thing that you are currently watching is uh, Kanban, Kanban view. We have list views that is called also called tree, and uh, we have calendar view. We have pivot and uh, graph view. And some uh, views that are only available in Enterprise Edition are Cohort, Dashboard View, Map View, okay, and uh, uh, Activity View, and we have uh, GAN views, etc. So we have different views, advanced views, advanced data representation uh, mechanism, different kind of uh, representation methods. So uh, that's what we are going to discuss uh, in upcoming videos. So in this video, we are going uh, starting with a small uh, part. Uh, it's about the list view. You see uh, here in our Open Academy module. Uh, we have developed a list view. Okay, so it's just like this. Uh, it's simply a table, and in this uh, one, you see uh, some lines are in red color, some are in uh, black. Okay, so how these things? Uh, how we can set up these things? That's what we are uh, going to discuss in this video. So what now? Let's go back to our. Uh, let's uh, go to our code. So this was our uh, model, our code for our session, Open Academy session model. It's a tree. Uh, this is the tree view definition. So uh, what we are doing is we just comment this part, uh, this tree part, and uh, uncomment in this one. And also not in this one. Okay, uh, I will discuss. I will explain this. Uh, what we have done now, and uh, let's check how this will affect our user interface and our look of our uh, tree view. So this is the uh, look that we have. Let's get into this. <coughs> so uh, there is no change till now. Let's go back to our uh, model uh, definition. Here you can see the session tree is uh, that was already the, the string but we have added decoration and info is equal to duration uh, it's called less than five and decoration danger duration greater than 15 okay so um, this is how this will uh, this thing will affect that's what we are going to check now our duration field in preview is invisible and uh, okay so oh sorry oh, we have checked the one under the course preview let's check here so 
you see the session as a green color now and session 2 also have the duration is 0 so what will happen if I make it 16 you see it became red and this is 4 I'm creating another one which um, duplicate session 3 with uh, duration 10 so it's how the default color so this uh, is how we can set up uh, these colors and uh, make our uh, trivial more attractive and informative uh, based on some conditions that's what we are going to discuss so uh, here we use the decorator uh, decoration attribute decoration attribute uh, is used to uh, customize the behavior of this uh, review and uh, we can uh, we must have to uh, we cannot use the decoration uh, only we have to supply this also this uh, value uh, it's a call, it's a, uh, we, you can also say uh, say name it's a decoration info it has a bootstrap conditional color it's already defined in the bootstrap and decoration danger is also, uh, also uh, another name that you can use and there are uh, items like if you want to make your uh, the font bold then uh, you can use bf you see if i change into bf and upgrade our module The session 2 uh, it has the value more than 15 so it became bold and in the same way uh, we can use it decoration uh, iphon it for make it italics the italics and uh, also uh, i will forward more examples like Also use uh, you can also use danger the Five. 
Zvani. Okay. And like this. Uh, uh, let's upgrade our module. See, we have the four here, less than five, and uh, we have a number of seats ten, and uh, it's fifteen. Sorry, it's ten also. So changing it to fifteen. So it's another table eight, session four. 15 to 20 section duplicate in session 5 35 see uh, you see the changes uh, now this is how uh, these things react to our code so <coughs> these uh, decorations are defined in the bootstrap that's uh, I'll show you. These are the classes, primary, secondary, success, danger, warning, info, light, dark, etc. And uh, text muted. So, uh, these are the colors that we can use for them. So, um, So if you use the primary, secondary, success, stage, warning, info, light, dark, index, italics, that kind of things, then uh, it will have this type of color effects in our Odoo's user interface in the radio. So now uh, I hope you understand the video and the purpose and how we can uh, modify the behavior uh, of our preview by using the decorations. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please keep watching for further updates. If you are interested in knowing more about this or looking for any Odoo implementation or customization in your business, drop your request to info at cybrosis.com.